So we've pretty much now set the stage that there's only like so many positions in venture capital and there's probably a large volume of people that are interested in these different positions. So what's the best way to get your foot in the door, like to actually capture, you know, a firm's attention initially? Um, I think there are different ways to go about it. We talk about this too in our blog series. Isabel writes a lot about how to get noticed as an investment associate or if that's the path you're looking for. So that can be everything from sourcing and sending great deals that you come across to people you know at VC firms. Um, being able to create a voice, I think, is really important. So if you're interested in a specific area, start writing about it, start tweeting about it. I actually think real relationships are made on Twitter and that's where a lot of VCs are spending their time. So I always encourage people, start talking about things that you're interested in. Um, and then also if you are no great candidates, if you know great advisors and you can kind of help connect folks to VCs, I think playing the role of a VC before you're a VC is a great way. It's not a guaranteed way. And I wouldn't advise anyone to like kill themselves and work for free basically. Um, but I think it's definitely a good way to network your way in more than just, hey, do you have 30 minutes to get coffee with me so I can pick your brain? It's like, what can you add? Um, how can you add value to that person? Um, so that's one way. I think on the platform side and even the investing side too, I think going to events and meeting people is a great way. So there are a ton of events. I think New York is a great city to kind of be in that position and kind of go to many different tech events. There are meetups, there are dinners, there are panel events, and a lot of them that are open. So for this too, I encourage people to go to Twitter to check this out. I think at least for at Lair Hippo, whenever we're co-sponsoring an event or speaking at an event um, or attending an event, we're always tweeting about it and talking about it. So that kind of gives people the opportunity to meet with us in person. Um, so those are definitely some things I suggest people do. And then there's always the suggestion of reach out to people in your network, ask for their time and kind of get on their radar. I don't love that answer because that, is, that means only people who have the network can get into VC. And I think that has been an issue for quite some time. So I kind of really like the ideas of what can you do if you don't have the network and how do you start building the network? But once you do know someone, ask for their time ask really good questions, but do your research ahead of time. So if you know someone's an early stage investor, don't ask them what it's like to be a growth stage investor. If you know someone only focuses in the enterprise space, don't come you know, asking about consumer type products. I would encourage people to do their homework, but also follow up to stay on people's radars because VC jobs are all about timing. You wanna make sure that you're continuing to stay top of mind. And I always say that if someone isn't in a startup operating role, I think considering that path as well can be a great step into VC. And if you're connecting with a VC, maybe their portfolio companies are a good fit for you. And if you can be a great operator at one of their portfolio companies, that could set you up to potentially join their team um, later on when the time is right. 